Hello everyone, my home parish, the place where I was born and brought up, is St. Teresa's in Bandra. My home parish is St. Anthony's Church, Wapola. I am from Our Lady of Good Health uh, Parish, James Nagar, Muttam, Kanyakumari District, Tamil Nadu. I am from Poisa, Our Lady of Remedy Church. My home parish is uh, St. Francis Xavier, Ville Parle. I'm very happy that I've landed here at uh, Our Lady of the Rosary Parish in Borigao because I completed my 25 years of priesthood on the 18th of April, 23. I'm journeying towards the 26th year. I was ordained in April 2008, so I'm a priest for 15 years now. This is my 10th year of priesthood. I was ordained in 2017. Now I have completed six years. I was ordained in the year 2013. The Reza's Bandra is an SVD parish and uh, there were a number of priests from the Judge Corruption, from the Charles Mars later, from the Burley Pardon, and many other SVD priests, from the Tommy Lewis, uh, who used to come over to our place. Uh, Dad is an audiophile engineer, and so they used to come to consult with him in various uh, fields, especially in the field of music uh, and uh, audio systems. They used to come to communicate with him. So probably that's the time I may have been inspired. But finally, it is a calling that I had in uh, Indore with them, uh, with the SVDs in Indore, uh, that uh, deeply felt the calling of uh, joining in the priesthood. It's an inspiration that comes from God, and I definitely uh, answered it. Staggering over a period of time, but nevertheless happy right now to have answered this call. I cannot directly say somebody inspired me, but I did have a, a desire to the priesthood from childhood. The one person I can think of inspired is Father Roland Fialo, who spoke about, about the vocation to me. When I think about my vocation, I believe that it is the call from God Himself. However, when I joined the seminary, there are three uh, reasons I could uh, think about it that inspired me to become a priest and join the priesthood. The first one, I always question my life and ask myself that what is the purpose of my life on this earth? And this was going on in my mind. And that was one of the reasons that I joined the seminary that when I live for myself that I lose my life. But if I do something for others, that will give me a joy uh, that I could not get from the world. Secondly, I was part of the Legion of Mary and I used to go and visit the people, those who are sick and homebound in the hospitals and homes and I found some kind of joy within myself and that inspired me that if I become a priest that I can go and meet so many people and do the service and serve the Lord and the people and the third and the third reason was, once I was uh, uh, asked by the parish priest of my parish to act in a play, Station of the Cross. And uh, on Good Friday that we performed that uh, play, I was acted as Jesus. At 12th station, I felt a some kind of energy coming into my body and I was inspired. And that kind of feeling I never got before and that showed me and that inspired me and I was sure that it is God who is the one who is giving this kind of feeling and I started praying what exactly God wants in my life and then I joined the seminary. The reason of 
for my vocation is my family because from childhood we used to go to church together as family and attend the mass and during the mass many priests who have gone come and gone from my parish have inspired me to serve the lord i used to take bible classes in the gauntons and the first deacon deacon elvis he used to invite me to share the word in uh, warsaw where he was doing his ministry after he saw me giving the word and all he said that why don't you also become a deacon and i was also very much inspired by him besides uh, uh, the school which i look after the pre primary the primary the secondary and the international school that is there uh, being the manager of these very four institutes i also am involved as i am the parish priest here so involved with a number of uh, association cells and uh, any time i am needed i am available to them so there is the parish communities also in which i uh, see and that brings me also great joy to be associated with everyone so i am in charge of the uh, liturgy lectors cantors legion of mary and uh, bombay catholic sabha mostly i am in the tamil association since i know tamil uh, liturgy choir lectors and prayer meetings both english and tamil both uh, associations there are also altar servers legion of mary there are five presidium we have in our parish that's all i handle associations like youth confirmation and welcome ministry and i also work at aquinas international school as far as the associations are concerned i'm handling the steering committee senior citizens open life sunday school prebap rcia and of course small christian communities i have about 5 of them what inspires me about john mari viani is he allowed himself to be used by god as an instrument and uh, although his calling he sat at the confessional that was something that was great some would say he had plenty of time there were no institutes in those days nevertheless he listened to god's calling and true god's calling at the confessional hearing what god had to tell him he communicated it to the people so that is very inspirational to me listen to god and he will lead you into a pasture where you are required in order to help the people out there don mari viani i like his life of faith and prayer and basically these uh, two things that helped them to be a successful priest uh, very often we hear about uh, saint mary viani is not very good in studies but uh, i feel that uh, he was the one who was inspired by god the most and when we read the quotes we see that it is not from the human wisdom and knowledge that he is giving this quotes it is all because of the intervention of god in his life what i like about john mari viani is his faith in god no one believed that he will successfully complete his training towards priesthood and will be ordained a priest but he believed in his vocation that god really called him and as he believed it was through the grace of god he got ordained so what i like the most about him is his strong faith in god i like most about saint john mari viani whose feast we are celebrating on sunday he was always available to the people simple loving 
He loved the people. People also loved him. It's very difficult to imitate someone, in, especially if it's a mimicry, it's okay. It brings a lot of fun. But definitely, in John Marigliani, his simplicity, his humility, openness to allow God to work are some of the qualities that I, I really like and I would like to imitate. Those same, since I already said the qualities, that is faith and uh, prayer, these things are necessary for the life of priest. And I always tried to imitate uh, the quality of your prayer that was in uh, our patron saint. He saved so many souls to God. The same way I too would like to uh, imitate him by my spiritual life I may bring many people closer to God I like his qualities like simplicity and availability he was such a simple priest that he attracted so many people and even those who did not believe in God were attracted towards his simplicity and he was always available no matter whether they believed in God or did not accept God. He was always available and led people to God. So that's what I like the most about him. The qualities of uh, John Marie Vianney, I would like to imitate is availability. Always be available to our parishioners whenever they need me. They approach me. I'm very happy about it. I would like to be uh, asset to a parish. There is great joy among God's people if we listen to Him. And yes, listening to God is sometimes very difficult. There are so many voices that bombard us every day. And the difficulty would be to discern what is God's calling and what is the world's calling. The Holy Spirit we trust the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will guide us and our Blessed Mother who heard God's calling will definitely intercede and help us along. Nevertheless, we have to keep ourselves open to know His will, to know His voice. And definitely with God's Spirit and the intercession of our Blessed Mother, we can journey listening to God and live the kingdom of God here in our parish. John Marie Vianne always uh, spoke about uh, the priest as a representative of Christ and uh, asked people to show greater respect to the priest. And that, uh, that is one of the messages that I would like to give to the parishioners of uh, Our Lady of the Rosary. It looks like uh, because of this uh, social media and uh, other such uh, means of communication, respect for the priest has gone down. So I would uh, request people to show more respect to the priest, the same uh, respect that uh, John Marie Vianne had for the priest and the priesthood. We need unity. When we come together as one family of Our Lady of the Rosary Parish, I will be happy. If we have division, then we cannot work together. So as one family, support the priest and we can achieve the goal of the Kingdom of God in our parish. As a priest, I am sent to Rosary Church to primarily reach out to the spiritual needs of the people. And I wish to see a parish filled with parishioners who are with the gifts of the Holy Spirit and show the fruits of the Spirit in their lives. That is my aim, that is a message I would like to give to all of them. The message I would like to give to a parishioner is that as parishioners, 
as and we the clergy we belong as one family on higher level we are the body of christ and christ is our head let us all be together and work for his glory